Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, in this ad hoc tutorial, uh, I'll show you how to simulate uh, Markov chain using stochastic simulation algorithm and find its stationary distribution. Uh, you may check the original article uh, at ad hoc tutes.com using this URL. So we will use a birth death uh, process as Markov model and we will use Gillespie's direct method for simulation. Uh, let's give the short description of the Markov model. Uh, we have uh, customer, customers arriving at the rate lambda according to Poisson process. We have a single server that serves these customers uh, with the rate mu and we have an infinite qui uh, in the system formed by the customers. Uh, the state of the system is defined by the number of customers in the system, N. And uh, for the stability purpose, uh, we assume that the load of the system is less than 1. And we have uh, an exact formula to calculate the stationary distribution. We can calculate uh, the probability, stationary probability for, for each state N using this formula. Uh, we will use this formula uh, to compare uh, the acute to estimate the accuracy of the simulation. Uh, let's now describe the Gillespie's direct method. Uh, first, uh, we need to define the total simulation time. Uh, so we denote it by capital T. Uh, we will choose it uh, experimentally. Next, uh, we initialize the a first state of the system. Uh, usually we set the zero state. Next, uh, we need to find the sum of all the possible transition rates from the current state of the system. We'll denote the sum with Q. Q. Uh, next, uh, we draw the, uh, draw the next time, uh, draw the duration until the next uh, transition using exponential distribution with a parameter Q, Q uh, and we denote the time with delta T. Uh, next we generate a random number R using uniform distribution and uh, we choose the next state N as follows. Uh, the next state N uh, is the first state uh, that uh, for which this inequality holds true. The left hand side of this inequality is the sum of all the transitions, transition rates, uh, including the state n minus 1 divided by q. The right hand side uh, is the sum of all the transition rates, including the state n divided by q. And uh, we update uh, the pass time with delta t. And we repeat the whole process until the t units of time is passed. Let's now go to the uh, implementation of this algorithm in Python. Uh, we have uh, three main functions. Get system parameters. Uh, this is needed uh, to return the parameters with their corresponding values. We have the next state space function. Uh, this function returns uh, all the possible transitions uh, given the current state with their corresponding intensities, transition intensities. Uh, and we have the third uh, function simulate. This function uh, will simulate the Markov model using Gillespie's algorithm we described. Uh, the variable names here are self-explanatory. For example, uh, the rich states uh, variable will hold uh, each state uh, with a corresponding sojourn time. Uh, sojourn time uh, is the total time that the system sp spent uh, in the given state. And the next states all variable will hold uh, the each state and all the possible transition states. And this part uh, will uh, perform the actual simulation until the, uh, uh, until the simulation time of units. And uh, finally, uh, we will find the stationary distribution using this line of code. 
we will take the stationary probability of each state, the sojourn time of the state divided by the total time. Also, uh, we have the exact stationary distribution function. This returns the stationary distribution uh, using the exact formula here. Next, uh, we run the experiment, single experiment. Let me erase this code for now. Here, uh, we run, we simulate the Markov chain using the initial state zero and uh, 10,000 uh, units of time. Let's run this and see the result. Uh, also, we'll estimate the accuracy of the simulation uh, using uh, mean squared error. It is calculated as the squared uh, difference. Let's run the code. If, an, uh, if we check the result, for example, the state zero, the simulation probability is this one and the exact probability is this one. As you can see, uh, they are almost the same and simulation works uh, very effectively. And the mean squared error estimation is this one, which is very small and this is good. Let's see how the simulation will behave with the different simulation times. We will use PyPlot uh, visualization library of the Python. We'll check uh, these simulation times and calculate the MSE, mean squared error, for each simulation time and visualize it. So let's run this code. So here is the result. As you can see, beginning from this point, uh, the mean squared error is almost zero. So it means that uh, we may choose the simulation time uh, between this interval. I have also included sample result here. So the result may differ in your case. And finally, uh, you may apply uh, this code uh, for any Markov model uh, uh, if you have the uh, transition matrix given. So you won't change the simulate function. Uh, all you need to change is uh, this one and this one. Uh, if you have any complex Markov model, please uh, write in the comments and I'll try to help you to construct the next space function and uh, you may you may uh, define the simulation time experimentally so uh, if uh, your stationary distribution uh, does not change for the large values after some value of simulation time so it means that uh, you have probably found the best simulation time for example, uh, if uh, for the simulation time 10,000 and 15,000 and uh, 20,000 simulation times uh, the probability distribution is the same, uh, you may use the 10,000 uh, time of units for simulation. Well, uh, this is the end of the tutorial. Uh, I hope it was useful for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.